And welcome to The Future is 3D. This is our Glacier Steel 16 by 16 by 17 inches of build area. We've got a 16 by 16 aluminum plate. You've got a welded powder coated steel frame. We're using linear bearings for the heated build platform with a steel frame that holds the heated build platform in place. Standard NEMA 17 motors using ramps 1.4 electronics. We've got 60 amp automotive relays to handle the high amperage for the heated build platform and the print head. Our system is fused. We've got a lighted on off switch. We've got a heavy 24 gauge wire that runs to the head as well as to the heated build platform. We've got a 40 amp power supply that runs very cool and drives the uh, electronics as well as the heated build platform. We've got an upgraded Z axis rod that is about triple the price as your normal threaded 1.258 millimeter threaded rods. These are incredibly straight. There's no Z wobble. We use a linear bearings on the Z axes um, up for the smooth rod on both sides. We use mechanical end stops that are set up very simple. And as you can tell, the uh, printer is running right now and it is very quiet. very quiet, no vibration. We've got some vibration dampening feet installed. There's lots more upgrades to come. We are looking at installing a flat panel LCD with keypad display so you'll have complete and total control over your TF3D printer without the use of a computer. Got the laptop over there right now printing out this kitten off of Things Inverse. The printer is very solid, very sturdy. You can really push on it. Um, there's no, no wiggle at all. It's a very st solid, sturdy, welded frame. Frame is welded in Kalispell, Montana by a local welder. Everything is purchased and assembled here, Kalispell, Montana. This is the uh, 16 by 16 Glacier Steel, and this one has a 17 inch build height. The future is 3D.